I get a lot of emails and comments from people here on YouTube asking me what is the most private and secure messaging app. And of course, a question as broad as this can't really be answered properly. It would be like hiring a web developer, I guess these days, subscribing to the latest AI model to vibe code you a website, but you don't go into detail about your use cases, and so you probably end up getting something that you don't want. So I'm gonna assume that what people want, what people are actually looking for, is a way to communicate without Big Brother knowing what you're talking about, whether Big Brother is a government corporation or whatever bad guy your threat model is developed around. And one of the fundamental tools that you should be using is PGP, AKA Pretty Good Privacy. This tech has been around since the early 90s, and back then, the US government actually went after Phil Zimmerman, PGP's creator, for violating the Arms Export Control Act because he released this very strong encryption, PGP, as free software that anyone could download. So if the feds are doing a criminal investigation into your privacy software, then you know that it really works. So PGP is a kind of public key cryptography. You've got a public key that you make public, you share it with everyone, you put it on your website, and when you first start messaging someone, you tell them, hey, use my public key to send me encrypted messages. And so Alice takes Bob's public key and she adds it to her PGP software and she starts writing him a message back. And she'll probably also attach her public key to the message so that Bob can start sending encrypted messages back to her. And when she combines Bob's public key with this message that she wants to send, it outputs this garble mess that nobody could possibly make heads or tails of. This is an encrypted message that only Bob's private key is able to decrypt. And of course, that private key is something that needs to stay private. Don't share your private keys with anyone. Keep them a secret always. In fact, most PGP key management software will automatically prompt you to secure your generated private key with a password so that it's not just sitting on your computer in plain text ready for, I don't know, Microsoft Copilot or something like that to steal from you. And if Bob uses Alice's public key to send her a secret message or a file, only her private key is going to be able to decrypt that content. So this is OG end-to-end -end encryption that nobody can break. And it can be used with literally any text service. You can just copy and paste these PGP encrypted messages that get generated by that application into WhatsApp or email or DMs on Instagram. Hell, you could print these encrypted messages out, sign them with your PGP key, and then stick them on some public bulletin board on Main Street or in the town square with a thumbtack, and then the person whose public key that you use to encrypt the text can come by on their way to the dry cleaners, grab that paper off the bulletin board, photocopy it into their computer, and then decrypt those messages with their private key. Although the availability of data may be a little bit iffy with that messaging board method because anyone can just go up to the public bulletin board and rip down the papers that you tacked up there, even though they won't be able to actually read the contents of them. Now, the primary criticism that PGP gets and, and the reason why PGP is not so well known and ubiquitous, even though it's been around for so long, is that it's criticized for being too hard. You have to copy and paste text between your messaging application or your email service into Cleopatra or whatever PGP program you're using. Hopefully it is an open source one like this. And this excuse for not using PGP is as ridiculous as it sounds. It's not even really a software bloat argument either, because these PGP apps are very lightweight. I'm sure that there is some bloated electron-based abomination out there for PGP, but the average computer user has like 30 Chrome tab open anyway. So bloat is pretty much a long forgotten concern amongst most modern computer users. So that just leaves the excuse of laziness. And 
I'm sure it's not you who's being lazy about PGP. It's your correspondents who you're trying to message that don't want to take an extra couple of seconds to copy and paste messages between a PGP program to have a platform agnostic, an app agnostic message encryption service that the most powerful governments in the world can't even touch. And so at that point, you really have to ask yourself if this person that you're trying to correspond with is going to be a serious player in whatever job or activist activity that you're trying to plan out with them on an encrypted channel. And this is pretty much the attitude that has started to take place in the hidden marketplaces and kind of the darknet scene where a lot of those hidden services don't even let vendors or sometimes even buyers sign up to the platform without putting in a PGP public key for their profile that people are going to use whenever they want to send messages to you. You know, sometimes I wonder if Phil Zimmerman ever thought to himself that anonymous internet drug dealers would be one of the prime proponents of manually using PGP one day. I mean, he did know that terrorists were using it because, well, for one, they were the big boogeyman back in the 90s and especially in the early 2000s after 9-11. And of course, that's the trade-off that you have with strong encryption. If it really works, then the bad guys are gonna use it too. And the only way for it to really work is for it to be available to everyone like the open PGP standard. And this really should be the standard for any group that needs their comms to be secure. PGP was originally developed and released as software for preserving human rights because free communication without the possibility of censorship either imposed by some kind of automated filter system or self-imposed by the users, the person sending the message for fear of the repercussions from their government or whoever if they see it is fundamental. And that was pretty much preserved here by creating strong encryption that anyone can use anywhere. And of course, releasing the source code for this so that people can audit it to check for backdoors and compile their own binaries from source if they really want to. And I know some people will probably mention ProtonMail or some other web-based email service that lets you put in your own PGP public key and use other people's public keys to send encrypted emails automatically so that from the end user's perspective, they don't have to take that extra step of switching between two programs. They can just type out a plain text email in the web page and then send it off and Proton Mail or whatever service is going to handle that encryption for you. Okay, so that's great when it really works, but you've got to put a lot of trust into those email services that A, they've implemented that encryption correctly and that B, they're not collaborating with a government under an NDA to tamper with that system the next time that you log on. If anything, you should use, uh, you should put your PGP key into an offline email client like Thunderbird that you know isn't going to just change up one day when you run the code. I mean, it's not JavaScript that's running in your browser, it's code that's actually running on your computer and so it's not gonna change unless you manually update it. It's truly amazing that people in groups who are so concerned with privacy and really need private comms end up learning and researching about PGP last if they research it at all before they end up getting busted. So yeah, for everyone wondering what is the bestest, most hacking private messaging service ever, it's PGP. PGP encrypted text sent over literally any text channel. Tie a PGP encrypted message to your carrier pigeon and message your dearest Beatrice the coordinates to where you buried some treasure so that she can support herself while you are out to sea. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it to hack the algorithm and check out my online store, based.win, where you can buy my awesome merch or accessories for your phone or laptop. 10% store-wide discount when you pay with Monero XMR at checkout. Have a great rest of your day.